Augmented Reality, the channel where you find the latest information on blockchain technology, metaverse, Web3, Bitcoin, and the latest trends in virtual reality and video gaming. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date. What exactly is Web5? Former Twitter CEOs, Jack Dorsey, has announced a new platform on Twitter called Web5, combining Web3 and Web2.0 and built on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. The platform's main promise is to solve the problem of personal data security. We struggle to protect personal data with hundreds of accounts and passwords that we can't remember. Today on the web, identity and personal data have become the property of third parties, the company said on its website. Web5 is being developed by the Blockhead. The idea of the platform is to provide decentralized and data storage to applications. According to the company, it allows developers to focus on creating better user experiences while returning ownership of data and identity to the people. A Twitter user asked Dorsey, what makes Web3 from your perspective? not decentralized enough that you have to create this next stage of the internet through what you call Web5. Dorsey responded by stating, it is the basis of a single point of failure, systems like Ethereum and Solana and the lies that are being told to users about who owns and controls information. For Jack Web3 is not really decentralized or owned by its users, but rather by various venture capitalists and limited partners. As mentioned, this web platform is designed to provide two main use cases. People will have the ability to own their data, and they will be able to control their identity. These use cases will be compatible with wallets, decentralized web nodes, and dApps. The Blockhead explains how Web5 wants people to have the ability to own their data. For example, suppose user X has a digital wallet in which he securely manages his identity, data, and authorizations for external applications and connections. User X then uses his wallet to log into a new decentralized social media app. However, because user X is connected to the app with his decentralized identity, he does not need to create a profile, and all the connections, relationships, and posts he creates through the app are stored with him on his decentralized web node. Using Web5, user X can switch applications whenever he wants, taking his social persona with him. In another case, user Z, a music lover, hates having his data locked with a single provider. It forces him to search and store his playlists and songs over and over again in different music apps. Fortunately, there is a way out of this maze of vendor lock silos as user Z can keep this data on his decentralized web node. In this way, user X can grant any music application access to its settings and preferences, allowing him to take his personalized music experience wherever he wants. Therefore, Web5 will give users ownership of their data. Meanwhile, Mike Brock, manager of the Blockhead, clarified that there are no tokens to invest in with Web5. We will be on the lookout to bring you more information about this platform that promises to revolutionize the internet. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also push the notification button to be the first to watch what's coming. See you soon in another news video, till next time.